Hataya with the serve. That will work. So a little bit of afters then from Bree King, uh, from Van Rijk, I should say. A little look through the net. that an awful lot of support but she goes early and so she's suddenly got that attention of the, of the block and then decides where she's going to go either can continue on or just delay it a little bit yeah just long enough you see she i mean that's not easy either because all she's all her body weight's gone up and now she's on her way down having to set the ball behind exactly why i never was able to do it <laughs> it's not easy uh, Tough point in the match for Canada to not try to do too much. Trying to make a difference for your team. Nice. A lot of work. Van Rijk is doing everything she can at the moment to keep Canada in this. Good set by Bree there, kind of out of position and a tough pass and gets her hitter a nice swing. Chance here for Canada. Oh, as you said, touches, no, says the referee, but Canada might challenge this one. And they've still got a, the option to do so. Gray going for those high hands, about the only thing open on that play. It's, it's one of the things that never ceases to, to, to fascinate and, and uh, perplex me in these situations. That, that ball for Alexa was, was going inside, so she's chasing it inside, but then she wants to go and hit it back to where the block's waiting. And I, not just her, but I see it time and side of the court, where the block hasn't made a move. So if you look where Alexa's coming in here, Well, that one has just caught the fingers, hasn't it? So that's great. But I mean, that, well, that's a case where actually she has definitely gone for the seam of the block. Is it was actually a contrived? So that's brilliant from her. And it's like, yes, that's my point, Michael. You know, one of the, the shots they can do is the high line, like you just saw, worked out for a while that time. Canadian setter. I think Thailand was ready for that D out of the back row. Great response by Canada. He's a third set, you're down by two, down by four, three, seemingly a lot of the game. Easy time to kind of let up. Nice to see Canada fighting one point at a time. Well, this is it, Canada have managed to turn things around here. They are back to within one. Say that's some dig from Van Rijk. They will have it to come again here, Canada. And it's well played by Alexa Gray. And then just like that, Chachuan wraps it all up, gives Thailand the point. You can watch that all day long. You can you could watch Porn Pan setting all day long. The angels are singing for sure. It's a good read by Maglio, just so quick. <laughs> she, she, but she's just like, I go, oh my goodness, has that actually landed in? It has. Oh, I'm too, I can't even bother to celebrate. I'm just going to go back and serve. 
Moving on. Yep. But we'll take it. Thailand looking for side out. That is definitely an area for Maglio to work on her serve. I was looking to see whether or not she played at the NCAA volleyball. Well, wow, there's Americans in their rules, I tell you, just screwing over every middle blocker that comes up in this game. It's now match point for Thailand. Saved by Van Wright, getting an excellent block out off of the Charapo. But for Thailand, they've got the uh, chance to get it done here. Oh, it's into transition. Oh, that's wonderful. What a wonderful shot that was from Van Rijk. And now it's all tied up at 24 all. Wow, that was nasty. Sometimes you just got to kill him with kindness. She did a great job of hiding that swing. Look at she's going to bring some heat. Oh, it's an error. And would you believe it, Canada now have set point. Well, there's no point looking for a touch because you're in the net. Doesn't matter. Block touch isn't going to help you here because the in, you, you followed up in the net. I think uh, I think the thing we'll have here, if there's a, if there's a block touch here, I'm sure Canada will go challenge. Yeah. Net touch. A little challenge on challenge situation here. Potentially. All right, we've got a touch. That's wow. fine. Okay, we've got a touch. But now, now what needs to be looked at is the ball, is it still in the air? because there's a net touch made by, by Thailand here. Here we go. We'll have a challenge, please. Net touch. Net touch probably going to be called for a challenge by Canada. And what the Hawkeye team are going to have to do now is they'll have to look and say, OK, yeah, there is a net touch. Where is the ball? Now, if the ball is still in the air, the net touch is, is invalid, and so it'll be Canada's point. If the ball has hit the floor, then the rally's over. Net touch has occurred, it doesn't count. So that's what needs to be checked now. It's good to know the rules, isn't it? It, just, it doesn't help. It does but, help. But do you know what? I've been also fascinated. I've seen players go up, the captains or the captains go up and spoke to the referee and not know the rules of the game. And yeah. it's like, Lord, yes, Lord. come on. You'd be surprised. At adult level. Which is one of the reasons, you know, for those of you that are coaching junior volleyball, one thing is if you need to know who to pick as your captain, it's the player that knows the rules. <laughs> you have to discuss this situation. So here we go. Where's the ball? That's the ball down. And there is no net touch at the moment. The ball is down. And now comes the. That's brilliant. That is exactly how that needs to be shown. That was an awesome piece of, of use of technology. That we have. for Thailand it should be and it will get done first time of asking Thailand have turned it around and they got another victory here on the VNL they were three and one coming out of Ankara they have opened up their account here in the Philippines with a victory putting them to four and one and their bid to make it into the top eight of this year's VNL is on track a brilliant performance from them That was just phenomenal. But credit Canada coming all the way back in that last set to make it to make it uh, happen and to get themselves to within a shot. But they were denied in the end. Oh my goodness, what a really good play that is. That looked to be, for all the world, like a clean swing cross court. Never going to be a, an issue. There's so much space there, but wonderful, wonderful blocking. 
from Hataya to get into there, that position and send that ball back. Van Wright must have thought that that was going to be hitting the floor. It did, but it, unfortunately for Canada on their side of the court.